Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer of Hop Butcher, uh, from Hop Butcher. Um, this is, oh no, no, packaged by Goldfinger Brewing. Okay, out of uh, Down Downers Grove, Illinois. So I guess this is a Hop Butcher beer, but contracted out of Goldfinger, so yeah. Uh, this is Unhofen. So this is a lager, 6 one um, Naturally carbonated lager, so it's spunded. Comes to traditional brewing techniques with modern modern hopping schedule. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. At six one, uh, what is this? Dortmunder, Hellesbach. Anyway, it's a bigger lager. Oh yeah, uh, dry hop with um, asterisk, a Vic Secret, and a Mosaic. Goldfinger Brewing Company. Okay, so a hoppy lager. I don't know. Who knows? So slightly imperial, 6%, right? Um, this beer comes in a light gold color, almost like yeah, straw color, probably a little deeper than straw. Um, there's a little bit of haze to it, yeah. More than just a chilled haze, unfiltered kind of lager look to it, yeah. It's quite nice, fluffy my head. That is oh, way hoppy. So yeah, this is not traditional German Unhopfen kind of lager. This is very hoppy and then hop with like, yeah, was it Mosaic? Yeah, Mosaic's the one that I get off like straight off the nose. It's... Generally, I don't get blueberry off um, mosaic, but this one sort of has some of that. It's not actual blueberry like fruit. It's more like blueberry pop tart, more like um, blueberry candy, more like blueberry like tea. Like you know, like the flavoring of it, not the actual fruit. Yeah, a little bit of green tea note in there. So this is like blueberry green tea. I think that's like uh, sometimes what I get from uh, mosaic sometimes. Oh, and then the Vic Secret's spinning off this like Nelson-y kind of note. So it's that like rich gooseberry, sweet, white wine. Um, yeah. They have kind of like lightly, you know, Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, style heavy. Cheers. Oh, so um, despite the crazy aromatics, it actually looks quite nice beer on the ballot. Dry, it's kind of nice from bitterness in the back end. It's almost like a, I don't know if they're going for New Zealand Pilsner, but if I had to guess what New Zealand Pilsner tastes like, I'd imagine it tastes like this. Very hoppy aromatically. Cracker thin um, malt bill. Um, dry in the back end. A little bit of that kind of classic um, grassy herbal hop character on the uh, bitterness driving. But then also has that ripeness of the, of the fruity hops playing in here. So let's go with, sorry, someone's sitting next to me eating and causing quite the ruckus. So, uh, very good, very dry. Six one, super dangerous. Um, very tasty lager, yeah. Let's go with a 90. ninety four. Very clean, with a little bit of that kind of like rough edge to it too. There's like a hoppy biting thing almost driving in there, a little bit IPA-like. Um, yeah, somewhere around where like IPL goes and I guess what New Zealand Pilsner would taste like. Hoppy, quite delicious. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much, Hopperger, for this one. This is Unhofen. Cheers. Later.